It appears that uh, Target and Bud Light are at a race for the bottom, trying to see which one of these two corporations are going to lose more money. It's an interesting conversation, because uh, I had it on Discord the other night, and, uh, you know, people did point out that there were a series of events that led to this. It doesn't just come out of the ether. And I do think that uh, one of them is the saying that there is a transgenocide in the United States of America, which is a very fringe, radical position to have, which is fostered on social media. Like, any other statement like that would be immediately banned. For example, there is the statement that there is a white genocide, and that immediately gets suppressed, right? Because people understand that if you're going to promote this mentality, you will get eventually violence in real life. But with this one... For some reason, it's not just uh, not suppressed, but it's being promoted. So with this in mind, uh, a couple of individuals on social media led the Hogwarts boycott, which ended up with them harassing actual streamers, VTubers and the like. Like They used this justification and then you even had a case in real life where a shooter used the same thing, right? The, the, the same justification. Um, and, and literally a couple of days later, activists uh, were having a day of vengeance march. Do you guys remember that? Right? Like people at the time probably did remember it. With activists like that, who needs enemies? Like Jesus. I, I'm glad that I do not have like any activists on my behalf when, when I'm seeing like what that is going on. So, um, you know, like all of this um, upset the public, but I, I don't think like any of this was what caused the boycotts. Um, I, I genuinely think it's that they tried the marketing campaign that entertainment companies have been doing for years, which is to go out of your way in order to upset conservatives because conservatives are weak. They do not have uh, strong activists. Uh, they, they do not have megaphones in the media besides Fox News and a couple of other networks. And as such, uh, if you upset them, they're not going to boycott you. They're not going to do anything about it. What they're going to do is they're going to go on social media and complain. And then you're going to have the left coming up and defending your corporation. And that generates buzz. That generates traffic. Like, now everyone is talking about it. So, so you hope that your company is going to be trending and then someone logs on Twitter, sees the name of your company, and it's like, oh, you know, I haven't uh, drank a beer today. May might as well go buy a Bud Light. That, that is how the marketing happens in rainbow capitalism. However, this didn't work out because for entertainment companies, it can work very easily. But for stuff like beer, stuff like uh, shopping at a store, things that people do out of a habit, and things that is very important, people do not have an identity tied to it, right? Like people have an identity tied to Star Wars, or at least they used to. Uh, they have an identity tied to Diablo. They, they have an identity tied to, to some cultural thing. Um, and, and they will give money to that company, then usually it requires them once a year a payoff, right? So like if you like Star Wars, you give money for a ticket once a year, sometimes once every three years, and that's it. But when it comes to buying beer, when it comes to going shopping, it's, it's a ritual thing. You have to do it every week. And it's not tied to any identity. So, so if that particular brand of beer annoys you, uh, by saying that consumers are fratty and out of touch, you can just buy a different beer. You, you still get alcohol. You know, it tastes like beer, so you can just buy from another company. If Target annoys you by uh, claiming that, uh, well, the, the customers were uh, harassing us, the customers were attacking us when they, they were receiving consumer feedback, which is basically like bringing the satanic shit which was actual Satan. Like, they, they had a t-shirt, Satan respects their pronouns, and with, with a picture of the devil. And you have that in the kids' room, right? In, in, in the kids' aisle. And you put the kids' aisle literally next to the entrance, right? And when people criticize you for it, you're like, oh, we're being attacked. Well, you know, like, I guess no one is attacking them now because they're going to different stores. And that's the thing. Like, people do not have an identity connected to Target. People can shop somewhere else. Like you, you used to go to Target because that was your daily routine. You know, maybe it was the closest store, uh, the most convenient store. Like people don't even go be there because of the prices. It's just out of convenience, right? 
some other people can go to Walmart also because it's convenient. And in this situation, it actually seems that Walmart is gaining ground. Uh, because people are just, okay, well, we're not going to go to Target, we're going to go to Walmart. So, all in all, um, I, I do think the activists are to blame uh, for the kartafel that they've created, which soured uh, the public's appeal. Uh, the second is the fact that they tried the same marketing team that works for entertainment, but it will never work for shops and uh, things that require a constant purchase. And uh, that, that's why Target is losing so much cash. And what's interesting is like uh, Activision Blizzard is now under the radar. But the problem with Activision Blizzard is that it can get away with it because the next game they're releasing is next year. By next year, people will forget. So uh, it's, it's quite possible that uh, maybe microtransactions will be affected. Maybe streamers are going to stream the game a little bit. I doubt it. Uh, especially when you look at the fact that the company has put out flat-out broken games that didn't work, and people still bought them. Like, games riddled with bugs, uh, people weren't able to connect to the servers. I mean, if someone put up with Vanguard, which, uh, in my opinion, was one of the worst Call of Duties ever made, they're going to put up with anything, right? So, uh, I, I do not think that Call of Duty is going to get boycotted, but... I am curious, like, how worse it's going to get. Apparently, experts uh, are uh, advising people not to purchase the stock. Despite the recent stock pressure, we cannot recommend investors buy the stock. Given these dynamics, I now believe the risk-reward is more balanced, but risk is more to the downside near term. So so even after all this time, the they still don't see the hole. Like, they, they keep falling and falling and falling. Uh, this is what happens when you insult customers, you know, like at the end of the day, I generally do not care about the ideology, but the hubris that corporations have to insult the consumer, the hubris that corporations have in order to think that they're better than you. Why? Because they have more money? Fuck off. It's good that it's happening to them. I, I do not like this type of uh, capitalism where the, the company has a political ideology and a morality. I do not want a system where... If you work at Elon Musk's company, you have to be a right-winger and have Elon Musk's talking points. And then if you work at Amazon, you need to become a very progressive far-left individual and have Jeff Bezos's talking points. I, I do not think that this is the type of world that uh, I would like to live in. So if companies could just shut the fuck up and sell a product, that would be great. And uh, stop antagonizing the customer, right? Like, at least uh, be honest. If the customer says, hey, we don't want satanic shit in front of the entrance... Then at least say, okay, fine, I will put it in the back, which is what they did, by the way. Like, they literally just put it in the back. Um, and, and by the way, like, I, I am not against uh, Target selling whatever the fuck they want. You know, in a perfect world, Target would sell satanic stuff. Which is fine. Uh, however, we do not live in the perfect world. We live in the world where uh, they have stakeholder capitalism. They have a responsibility towards uh, social issues and well the social issues are telling them that they don't like it let me know what you guys think and as usual i will see you in the comment section take care